What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, might suck. We're back on the S2000, and if you didn't see the last video, basically, tried to hit 100 miles an hour, top completely blew off, and then shortly after that, I turned the car on, and we gotta check engine light. Of course, I can't find my code reader anywhere. We're looking like misfire in cylinder number one, and then we got a random misfire like there. I don't know if it's directly tracking, who knows? This is AutoZone's uh, scan tool, so they're not very in-depth either way. Pretty sure the cylinder layout is just from the front of the car back, one, two, three, four, and then one, three, four, two, or something for the firing order. Obviously with a misfire, that can be a handful of things, but the easiest things obviously are plugs and coils. So I'm gonna try these Iridium plugs first, and I'm just gonna swap them all out because I don't know which ones are bad, and we'll, we'll look at them. But uh, I'm hoping it's gonna be a very simple repair, but uh, let's go ahead and get this fixed. All right, what do we need? I don't think we have to pull that off. So just Allen keys? I do not have in this set. Luckily I have this whole thing of Allen keys because that bike basically took apart the entire thing with them. There's the winner. All right, I'm actually gonna move the car real quick. It's getting real hot. Ugh. It's like right on the edge of the sun. The weird part is it doesn't sound bad at all. And it's idling really high for a while. All right, so little Allen's here. Pop these off. All right, there's one, two, three, four. All right, now I'm assuming this thing should just pop off. There we go. Move that over there. All right, now we got ignition coils. These are probably 10, of course, nine, 11. Why does this always happen? Oh, where's the 10? There it is. Damn. Okay, so, saying the misfire is number one. So I guess that'll be the one I check first. Probably gonna replace all of them anyway. Pull this boy out. There we go. Easy enough. All right, let's get this guy out of here. Oh, that's magnetic. Bam, come on. There we go. Hmm. Well, it's not oily. That's what I was worried about. All right. I'm gonna pull number two and we'll see how that looks. All right, now that I got all the cool packs out of the way, I'm gonna pull these plugs one by one. I don't expect the other ones to be bad. Didn't throw the misfire code at any of the other cylinders and obviously this had a little bit of carbon buildup. Not too bad. Uh, gap and everything was correct. And uh, it's got a little of that, um, what they call it, dielectrical grease. It's not grease, uh, similar to grease. But I'm gonna pull the rest of these plugs out, see how they look, and then we'll swap them out, see if that fixes it. Dos. That one's actually a little dirtier. Trace. It's about the same as number one. Ah, god damn. Quattro. That one's got the most buildup out of anything. All right, well, all four plugs are out. I'm hoping it's on the coil packs, because these don't look that bad. Yes, there's some buildup on them, but I mean, the car's got. 70, 70 something thousand miles, 80,000, it's 80,000. So I'm just gonna go ahead and replace all four of them and uh, we'll figure out if it's a cool packs, I guess, from there. It's about right. How much better the plug looks. All right, everything's back together. I'm just gonna assume that it's still gonna throw the code. We're gonna start it up, and uh, I wanna hear it too. Still seems like it's running a little rough. Check engine's still on, so I don't know if it's tripping itself out. Something you can do, 
if you don't have anything to reset a code, so you can pull the negative terminal on the battery, and in some cars it'll reset the system and uh, have it check itself again. So if we did correct the problem, then that should reset it. All right, I'll leave that disconnected for 30 seconds. Should be good enough. Tighten this back down. Let's see if we fixed anything. Yeah, idling way better now. All right, car sounds way better. Let it warm up a little bit. Seems like it's a lot smoother. And it's not idling that high. All right, let's take it for a little drive. Oh, see if it truly is better. All right, we got no lights on the dash. Oh, something I want to do, I wanted to put the engine under load. Let's do a neutral. Make sure it doesn't bog down. No, she looks pretty good. Oh, that wasn't smooth. Okay, she seems like she's running much, much better. Well, we got the S2000 figured out. I'm happy it wasn't anything major. Um, it's pretty much completely sorted, except for obviously fixing the top, which I'm gonna be doing that. Uh, I already ordered it, it just takes a little bit, because um, obviously it's a really big item, and it's just completely destroyed still. But uh, definitely gonna be replacing that. Stay tuned, because I'm gonna be releasing a video on basically the full breakdown on this thing, like everything what it costs, how much it costs to fix, you know, everything. Cause I'm, I think people are gonna be kind of surprised of how cheap <laughs> this thing actually was. If you did like this video, be sure to drop a like down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys next time, peace.